So we're told that the edges of the cube are expanding at a rate of two centimeters per second. So that tells us that if we let uh, x be the edge of the length of the edge of one of the sides of the cube, for example, if this is the cube, and we say that this is side length x then we can say that dx dt, the rate of change of the side of that cube, is equal to 2 centimeters per second. So that's what we're given. <clears throat> what we would like to find is the rate of change of the volume. So that's dv dt. And then we want to do that when t is equal to, or actually when uh, x is equal to 2 for part a, and then when x is equal to 14 for part b. We can answer both of those questions once we figure out uh, what dv dt is. So next we need to find the relationship between the two quantities, v and x. So this is a cube. The volume of a cube is uh, just the length of one of the sides cubed. And then we differentiate both sides of that with respect to time t. So we get dv dt is equal to 3x squared. And then we have to remember that x is a function of time as well, so we need the chain rule. And so we put dx dt. That's the derivative of x with respect to time. So uh, the next step is just to plug in the the quantities that we want. So we want dv dt when t is equal to, or sorry, when uh, x is equal to 2. So we just plug in 2 for x, and then we plug in the dx dt is also 2. And so that gives us 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. cubic centimeters per second would be the units on that. So that's part A, and then for part B, we just want to find dv dt when x is equal to 14. So same idea, only now we're going to plug in 14 for x. Dv x dt stays the same, so that's still 2. And when you plug all that in, you should get 1176, same units, cubic centimeters per second.